so hi guys hi all so welcome back to my channel so in this very quick tutorial i'm going to tell you how you can import maxima animations to unreal engine and how you can retarget those animations onto your meta human character so without any delay let's get started so for downloading maxima animations go to any browser and then just go to this maxima website so go to this character tab and select any of your desired character and then just go to this animation tab here you will find the number of animations which you can use for your meta human character just select any of those animations right now i'm using this walking animation after selecting your animation just click on this download button and here you will find some options uh, file format should be fbx and fbx is up to you can download 24 60 or else 30 but you have to download it with skin don't download it without skin we have to download the animation with skin and just click on this download button here and after that we have to launch our unreal engine so just go to epic games launcher go to library here and then right now i'm using Un unreal engine 5.4 version so the process which i'm going to tell you guys right now is only work for 5.4 or else 5.5 .5. it will not going to work for 5.3 or 5.2 so just make sure to use 5.4 version so just click on this launch button and then unreal engine 5.4 will get opened and now our unreal project browser is open so go to this games template and go to select this third person template and give it any name of for your project and click on this create button and now our project is created so open this content drawer uh, just click on this docking layout and now we have to import our meta human character to the scene so for that you know go to this content folder and just right click on this empty space you will find an option called add quixel content just click on it and now after opening the quixel bridge uh, just click on stay here and then go to this meta humans folder and you can find the number of meta humans here there are almost 67 meta human characters which you can download and use for free so select any of those characters so right now i am going to use this meta human character called a tray so just oh, go to this character and just click on this download button and then after downloading the character just click on this add to your project button and now we have to import our animation to this unreal engine so for that i am going to create a new folder just click right click on this empty space and go to this new folder option and i am going to name it as maximo so just double click on the folder to open it and then go to your download section and then just drag that walking animation file to the unreal engine you will get to see this option called fbx import options here there are major three options which are skeletal mesh import mesh and then import animations make sure to enable these three options these are very very important so after enabling these options and just click on this import all and now our animation is imported to our unreal engine just ignore this message log here you will find the four major assets which is skeletal mesh animation sequence physical asset and then skeleton so now we have imported our both animation and meta human character to the unreal engine now we have to retarget this maximum animation onto our meta human character so before doing that uh, go to this meta human folder here you can find the meta human character folder just open it you will find the blueprint of it just open the blueprint first and now when you open the blueprint uh, unreal engine will ask you to enable some missing plugins here so we have to enable these plugins to use our meta human character so just click on this enable missing and if the engine asks you to restart the engine just click on this restart button and now just open this blueprint folder again so here go to this viewport you know if if by any chance if your meta human hair or anything is getting missed here just go to this lod sync option and then here uh, in the right side details panel there is an option called lod uh, there is an option called forced lod here so make sure to uh, make it as plus one here so then our missing hair or anything will get visible here and then just compile this and then save this and then just close this blueprint here so to retarget our animation to meta human folder just go to the animation maximum folder here and just you know right click on this animation sequence you'll get to find an option called retarget animations and now our retarget animations folder is opened so in this target skeletal mesh we have to select our uh, meta human character so go to this none option here and select your meta human skeletal mesh and now our meta human skeletal mesh is get selected and now uh, click on this animation and then just click on this export animations now it will ask you the location so where you need to uh, save that animation i am just uh, selecting this content folder and just click on this export button so it will ask you again just click on this export again and now our animation is exported so now to use this animation on our meta human first we need to add that meta human to our scene so for that go to this meta human folder and just click on this tree folder and just uh, drag and drop your blueprint here so now our meta human is in our scene 
so to use that animation on our meta human we have to uh, add the sequencer here so go to this option and just click on this add level sequence uh, give it a name and just click on save and now to add our meta human character to the sequencer just click on this add button and go to this actor to sequencer here you will find the uh, tray character so which is our meta human and now our meta human character is added to the sequencer so here uh, we are going to use the maximum animations on our meta human character so we are not using any control rig to animate our meta human so we don't need this so select this meta human control rig and then just delete it so after deleting the control rig uh, to add our maximum animation to the meta human just go to this body section and just click on this track button and you will find the animation folder here and then you will select you need to select the uh, animation here so I'm searching for walking animation so I found my maximum animation here just click on it so now if you click on this play button you will get to see our meta human character is walking now but whenever the animation gets ended the meta human character position will get reset so if you want him to continue the walking animation go to this last frame and just click on this uh, plus button in the animation if you click the plus button you will it will ask you to add the animation again so search for walk so let's add our animation again and now we have added our walking animation two times to the sequencer so if you play this continuously you will find that the meta human character position is getting reset between these two animations to fix to fix this issue just click on this animation just right click on it and you know go to this option called match uh, with the bone within the previous clip and go to this and just click uh, Actually, we have to select any bone of our meta human. So right now, I am going to use his foot because it is a working animation. So I am matching up with this foot. So I am selecting this foot right. So if I select that, if I play this, so you can see now the meta human character is working continuously. So you can add this animation again and again number of times. So so that the meta human character will run continuously until the end of the animation. After that, his position will get reset again. So in this way we can use any of the maximum animations onto our meta human character easily. I hope you guys understand the video. So I hope this video is helpful for you. So if you want any detailed tutorial on how using the different kind of animations on our meta human character. So let me know in the comment section. I will make a tutorial on that. So that's it for the video guys. So make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe our channel for more exciting content. So I will meet you in the next video. Until then take care. Bye bye.